All right, after we have learned the animal cells, plant cells, all this, then we come to 2.2, the living process of unicellular organisms. So unicellular organisms is an organism that made up of only one cell. They have very, very simple structure, able to perform all the important function in the living process within a cell, like feed, respire, respire means oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, excrete, which is the remove of waste product, and then move. And then they are able to respond to stimuli, reproduce, and grow. The word SP means species, yeah? Next, let's look at the amoeba species. Let's look at the first structure, which is a pseudopodium. The word pseudo means false. Podium means fit. So it's like a false fit. It's like a projection of this part. So this is a pseudopodium. This also is a pseudopodium. This also is a pseudopodium. This also is a pseudopodium. This can be also. And then we have the plasma membrane, contractile vacuole, and also the food vacuole. So food vacuole will form when amoeba have just eat something. So this is uh, another photo of amoeba under a microscope. Let me introduce you amoeba species. So amoeba move by extending its pseudopodium which is a phosphate by the flow of cytoplasm. So they just extend the pseudopodium, you know. Uh, later on, I will have a video so you all can have a better idea. Lah. And then oxygen and carbon dioxide go in and go out through the plasma membrane by simple diffusion. And then amoeba able to respond to stimuli like chemical, touch or lights by moving away from them. And amoeba also able to grow by synthesizing new cytoplasm. So basically, amoeba is a living thing, right? It can grow, it can breathe, and then it also can move. Next one, we will see how amoeba reproduce. So in good condition or favorable condition, amoeba undergo a sexual reproduction, which is a binary fission through mitosis. So this is a process called binary fission. By amoeba. So one amoeba slowly, slowly divide into two small amoeba. Unfavorable condition like low temperature and insufficient food. It's like very cold and then there's no food. Amoeba need to survive, right? So they will form spores and germinate when the condition become favorable. So for excretion, the waste product like carbon dioxide and ammonia gases are excreted by diffusion and then as I have taught before, osmol regulation, where you see osmol, it means what? H2O. What is H2O? It means water. So where you see osmol is water. Okay. Osmol regulation means control of water. So how does amoeba species control the water in the fresh water environment that they live in? Normally amoeba, you can find it like pond, you know, like lake. Yeah, but you can't find in sea. Hmm. So water diffuses through osmosis to fill the contractile vacuole. When the vacuole expands to the maximum size, so when it comes to maximum, of course, amoeba don't want to ex uh, like burst, burst what? They will contract and then excrete the water out from time to time. Okay, amoeba species, nutrition means how they obtain nutrients. So remember amoeba have pseudopodium, and then have to trap the food by a process called phagocytosis. So after a phagocytosis, a food vacuum will form and then it will combine with lysosomes. Yeah, the enzyme lysozyme will hydrolyze the food. Just like in animals cell, it will just break down the food particles. So it becomes nutrients and then it will absorb into a cytoplasm and the undigested food will be discharged when amoeba move away. Let's look at picture number one first. This is the pseudopodium. This also is a pseudopodium. And then this is the foot. La. Middle one is the foot. La. So we can see in picture number one, how amoeba is trying to extend the pseudopodium to engulf the foot into itself. You can see in picture number two, the foot 
already come in and then form a food vacuole. And then lysozymes will happily come in to attach to the food vacuole and then it will, in picture tree, it will digest the food and amoeba happily absorb the nutrients. After that, probably amoeba is too full and then the undigested food will just leave, leave there when amoeba move away. We are looking at paramecium species. Okay, you have to know cilia, food vacuole, and then contractile vacuole. It's like a star shape like that. Here, it's here, like star shape. Okay, a star shape, contractile vacuole, and then another contractile vacuole here, and also the orographer. So what happened is paramecium actually have a mouth because it has an oral groove. So the nutrients will go in into straight in into to the oral groove and then form a food vacuole here. Yeah, unlike amoeba, amoeba will extend a pseudopodium and then engulf, and then paramecium will just swim towards the swim towards the nutrients. Contractile vacuole same function like amoeba. Cilia is help moving here and there. Let's look at how a paramecium species move by rhythmically beating its cilia. Okay, and then by helping of cilia, it can move here and there lah. And then for respiration, plasma membrane, O2, CO2 gases. Okay, so oxygen and carbon dioxide gases exchange through the plasma membrane by simple diffusion. It just diffuses in and out only. And then how they respond to stimuli by moving away from them. For growth, just like amoeba, synthesizing a new cytoplasm. So we can see that amoeba and paramecium they actually have some of the like similarities. La. Reproduction. So in good condition or in favorable condition, paramecium will go through a sexual reproduction through mitosis. Okay, which is a binary fission. We call it as binary fission. You can see picture this one, picture here. So one paramecium divide into two paramecium by binary fission. So when the condition is not favorable, like low temperature or insufficient food, paramecium will go through sexual reproduction, which is conjugation. So this is paramecium one, this is paramecium two. They will come together and after that they can breed. Lah. So we can see amoeba and paramecium, they have different way to breed. But in favorable condition, both of them also go through binary fission. Okay, so excretion will be like amoeba, the waste product like carbon dioxide and ammonium gases are diffused by diffusion, excreted by diffusion, and osmoregulation will be same like amoeba. Everything is same. Diffuse, the water diffused through osmosis, fill contractile vacuole. After the vacuole expands to maximum size, it contracts and excretes the water from time to time. I screw out the water lah, so they won't burst, you know. So how they this is how they regulate the water inside their body. So nutrition, amoeba, how how my amoeba move, beats the cilia, and then transfer the food particles into the oral groove. So the food particles go all the way in into the oral groove, and then it will form a food vacuole. Okay, then the food vacuole form and combine with lysosomes. The enzyme lysozyme in the lysosomes will hydrolyze the food particles. Nutrients will absorb into the cytoplasm and the undigested food will discharge through the anus.